I'm reminded every time I do a wedding that marriage is God's idea, that he created it and he said it's good. And it's interesting in all the things that you read in Genesis, when he created something at the end, he would say it's good. And even after he created Adam, he said it's good. But as he watched Adam, uh, we don't know how long he watched him, maybe it was a minute, maybe it was 20 years, but as he watched him, finally he said, it's not good for Adam to be alone. And I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I prove that every time Susie leaves, that it's not a good idea for me to be alone. And uh, so that's when God, of course, created Eve and, uh, and started what, what he says is good. And so marriage is, is really good. Thank you.
Cricket, I couldn't imagine anyone greater to share my life with. Marrying you was the easiest decision I have ever made. I knew early on you were the one. Um, I remember just a couple months in our relationship that had you pick out the type of engagement ring that you wanted. I was certain back then as I am today. I love that we share a strong faith, strong bonds with our family, and a love for Scott Valley. I appreciate that you enjoy the slower pace that our country life provides. Um, Cricket, you are the love of my life. I, I promise to love you um, for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to show you how deeply I care for you, no matter the challenges that may come our way. Whatever the future holds, I promise to love you as long as I shall live. Connor, it is with a heart full of joy that I stand here today ready to commit myself to you and our journey together. You are the joy in my heart, the smile on my face, the laughter in my voice, and the calmness in my soul. I will never forget building our first gingerbread house together. From the start, we both thought that we were each the better architects. I don't actually remember how the house turned out very well, but I do know that I learned a lot about you that day. I learned that if you're building it, you don't take any shortcuts. I know that you will not take shortcuts in our marriage. You are thoughtful and you strive for the best outcome. You can be a tad bit stubborn and surprisingly competitive. As you know too though, I'm also stubborn at times. Together we challenge each other and I am a better woman because of that. I am grateful for this often. You are always optimistic and you bear with my sometimes pessimistic moments with such grace. You see challenges of all kinds as opportunities to learn and I am blessed to be by your side as we learn in this life together. Connor, I choose you to be no other than yourself. Loving what I know of you and trusting what I will discover. I promise to be your lover and companion, your partner in parenthood, your ally in conflict, and your biggest fan. And to, I promise to always respect you and to try to see things from your perspective. I vow to have the strength and wisdom to choose love when times are hard. And I vow to always protect this marriage and I will always protect your heart. I love you. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And with this ring. And with this right ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Cricket, what token do you give of the sincerity of your vows? A ring. If you'll place it on Connor's. Got the right hand this time. Yeah, the left. <laughs> and repeat after me. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. And with this ring. And with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And may these rings given be the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites your two hearts in love. Connor and Cricket by the power vested in me by the state of California and the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And Connor, you may kiss your new bride. Yay.
we're so excited for you, Connor and Cricket. Um, we feel so blessed. You know, our, you know, the Martin family feels blessed that you've come into our our lives. We, you know, you're you're here for Connor. You're you're part of our family. We all we are all gonna learn to love you and, and get to know you through the years. And so we're all really excited about that. And we're so happy that you guys are. Your love is so strong that you didn't let 2020 slow you down. It, it slowed you down a couple months, but you you guys got it done. So we're so happy about that. And uh, and so I want to propose a toast to Connor and Cricket. May you always find the strength and comfort in one, each, in one another and love and joy in all the small miracles that you're going to have every day. Yeah. Cheers. Cricket and Connor are a great couple and they bring out the best in each other and I don't think you got, could have got a better match so I'm so happy for you guys. and So lucky for both of you, I'm living that single life so I don't have any marriage advice. <laughs> so on that note, I'd like to propose a toast to Cricket and Connor. Uh, to many happy years and few tears. Congratulations. Woo. You know, part of what I love about uh, their connection is that they both have gone out and done something. I've, I've gotten to know Cricket's uh, court a little bit this weekend, and you know, she, these are people that she met in college and in her travels, and, and Connor's been to Colorado and down to Cal Poly and to New Zealand, and they've gotten out a little bit, and they've come back, and they love to be here. They love to be residents of Scott Valley. They're really proud of where they're from. They're really proud of where they live now. They're both parts of the community. And I, I'm like, yeah, looking forward to uh, years to come, spending time here with our friends, our family, and of course, Mr. and Mrs. Connor Martin, and Cricket, and, and being on the ranch, and all those things, it's very special. So here's to the new couple. Um, I agree with Frank, it's been a hell of a year. Something to celebrate. Beautiful celebration, beautiful couple. Cheers. I will always cherish the late night talks, midnight walks to get pie, bonfires on the beach, paddle boarding, and so much more. And I'm so glad to stand next to Cricket today with the man of her dreams. Connor has such a genuine soul, and if anyone talks to him for even a couple minutes, they can tell this right off the bat. He doesn't have a bad thing to say about anyone and is an extremely hard worker. I definitely think the work ethic of Cricket and Connor is something you don't see all the time, so that's really special. Um, I absolutely can't wait to see what the future holds for you too. And I'm so glad to be with you guys today. I love you. Cheers to many, many years. <laughs> but I'm very proud of my daughter and uh, pr you know, very happy with the man that she's chosen. Uh, Cricket and Connor both have a, a kind spirit and they're making a positive difference in the world. And I'm really proud of that. So cheers to you both and I hope you have many grandkids for me. <laughs> so. We really appreciate all of our family. We worked a lot of weekends and um, our wedding party and the community um, has helped us put this wedding together. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're just looking forward to talking to everyone here tonight, hopefully, and uh, enjoying the rest of the night. And uh, all right, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers. Yeah.